he's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? Okay, Herbology is next. I hope. God damn it. Three? Three more shields? Unbelievable. And a lot of these shields seem to be unreachable until I can learn some more spells in Herbology. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll play as Ron again, because he did well with his extra jinxing power last time around. Guess I'll try going this way. Oh, well, shit, that was easy. Uh, although Accio doesn't seem to work on the larger shields. God damn it, they didn't mean to hit that button. I'm just rapidly tapping everything and I hit it by mistake. But it seems that Carpe Retractum doesn't work either, although I should've known better and figured from the get-go that this was too good to be true. I don't know how else to reach it though, but okay, now what? I'm not even sure how much of this place I ended up exploring last time, although I should be able to get into some new areas now that I know how to catapult the boob tubes into the mushroom fields. You're no match for Ron Weasley. He has wizarding cards. I mean, yeah, that's all there is to it. You suck shit. Did they just explode into a bunch of pink flowers? I don't understand. But yeah, behold, Ron Weasley still standing with all 100 of his life points still intact after taking on four thingies. And I think this is where the dragon encounter cutscene played out the last time we were here. Where the dragon flew up from that ledge back there that you know, just went off screen. Yeah. Yeah, might as well try to take out two at once. That worked. Those guys popped up pretty late. Unless their plan was to split the party. Shit. Actually, that was great strategy on their part. They popped up right where three Bubo tubers would grow again, further making it difficult to shoot jinxes at them through said boob plant. Who sets up lamp posts out here? I still have no idea if these mushrooms that glow blue when you jinx them do anything useful or not. Now pay attention, you two. You're not smart enough to grab the energy-boosting pumpkin by yourself, so I have to trick you into taking your medicine by getting you to stand between me and the pumpkin while I cast Accio. I don't care who gets it so long as it's one of you and not me. I obviously don't need it. Good. You're welcome, Hermione. Actually, it's better she got it because the health points between Harry and Hermione are closer to being balanced now. Hey, this is great. I can try clearing the mushrooms now. God damn it. Oh, did those things have to pop up now? At least I cleared a path. Are you serious? I can't squeeze through here? I gotta deal with these shits, which I'm still not sure if they're a different version of Doug Boggs or something else entirely. They really do look more intimidating than they are powerful. A bunch of them swarming towards you at once is annoying, sure, but they're not really that difficult to deal with. Even though I should be good enough, I want to see how much more I can clear away from here. Uh, I overshot it. Oh well. For fuck's sake, Harry. I have no sympathy left for you. Ron should honestly be more pissed off about your incompetence here than jealous- Oh, shit. Ah, damn. I throw a rock at it and it just bounces off the head like a chunk of styrofoam. Well, I do remember that I need to get behind it and send Jinxes up the rectum in order to defeat it, and sure enough, just as easy as it sounded. I'm surprised it's so easy given that it's a mini-boss in this game. The fucking Urklings are more dangerous and menacing than the blast-ended screwballs. Well, that's one shield down, two to go, and as I was saying, Ron should be more upset about Harry hurting himself in stupid ways than jealous about his name coming out of the Goblet of Fire in the first place. At least Snape isn't in this game to watch us fumble around and sneer and gloat at us. Or even Malfoy, for that matter. I think I completely forgot about him when I was listening off a bunch of characters while doing the first task. 
He's someone else who was in the last three games, but missing from here. But the point is, when the computer's controlling the other two characters, they're borderline useless at times and can barely look after themselves adequately enough to stay alive. It's just... Ugh, it's so irritating. Hey, that thing happened again where a lizard did a kamikaze attack into the pus monster thingy. Ouch. What the fuck did you run into this time, Harriet? Did you stand around long enough to let the tubular boob grow back before trying to walk past it? I bet you did, idiot. I'm starting to have a bit of trouble launching these things, I think. Why can't I pull it back any further? Well, at least I got rid of some of them. Okay, good. I can walk around them this time. The fuck was that? It didn't even detach from the ground that time. Ugh. Stupid pieces of shit. How many of these things live in this forest, anyways? Do they always burrow underground in small groups like this? Now, I wonder if they live in underground tunnels similar to what lies underneath an anthill. Except the tunnels span for miles and miles in all directions. Shit, pick it up, please. I think we need to climb on this to get over that wall over there. Get off, guys, the fuck? It's probably my fault, I just need to get on the other side so all of us can push it away from roughly the same position. Yeah, that fixed it. Ooh, so close. Just a little bit more, you two. Think you can handle that? For fuck's sake, hurry up! <sighs> okay, good. I was worried for a few seconds. Eh, it's a bit tilted. I'm gonna try flinging these things a bit more first, though. Well, that's cool that I can hit one booboo-tuber with another, but I couldn't actually see where I was aiming. And if I don't pull back far enough, it stays rooted to the ground and ejaculates slime everywhere. So if I'm aiming downwards, relative to the in-game camera at least, I can't see where I'm aiming. I think I had that problem when aiming to the side as well. God, how many times can I say it in one series? I hate this camera. Half the time I can never see what I'm doing. Although, let's see, what else can I say that's nice? The setting of the area of the forest here and its atmosphere along with some of the ambient background music kinda gives me a vibe similar to exploring in the game Civilization Beyond Earth, which is actually quite nice. For all my complaints about the game, I still enjoy the music at least. Fuck, I really do want to destroy the rest of the mushrooms even though I've demonstrated that I can already walk through them. Seriously, when aiming with crosshairs and everything, have the camera behind you so you can see what you're aiming at! Jesus, dear- Okay, the camera is nearly 180 degrees in the wrong direction. And sure, the camera pulls back somewhat and still gives you a targeting icon showing where the projectile will land, but it's not like that fixes the issue of being difficult and frustrating to control. At least I managed to make that path a little bit wider, but good lord, it shouldn't be that much of a pain in the ass. I'm determined to get used to this, though. Did it slap Hermione across the face? Well, at least I got it. I wouldn't have bothered with the block earlier if I'd known that there was another batch of shrooms guarding a second entrance beyond this wall. Uh, yes. The flamethrowers again. Oh, that was close. Why the fuck does it aim for the one that's further away? It's not the first time it's done that, either. And it's not like I'm... Well, I'm not super pissed off about that in particular, because I would have had to put it out anyways. But I'm pretty sure I was facing towards the first one when casting that spell, and it's closer in proximity to me, so it should would, it would make more sense for the game to assume that I'm intending to cast at it instead. <sighs> and that's a nice camera shot, by the way, having part of the foreground hide what I'm doing. Of course, the game shouldn't have to assume anything and just let me aim properly in the first place. 
but I guess it feels like it needs to assume what I intend to do because I can't aim properly because I don't have a proper third person view from behind the playable character. It seems that nearly every frustration I have with this game comes back to that problem of the goddamn in-game camera. Oh yeah, I remember this now. We have to run across the log. And then there's an ambush. Yep, called it. Easy enough to deal with, though. I just... I like how they sometimes pop out of the ground when I'm still a moderately long distance away from them, though. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of an ambush. So this is blocked off? Is this part of the map only reserved for the script where I have to defeat the blast ended Scroot to get a shield and get out of the forest the first time around? Let's just assume so. So, was this whole long pathway a dead end now? There's gotta be something else here. There's gotta be something else here. Oh, uh -huh, okay, here we go. New pathway I haven't explored yet. Really? More of these? You'd think that if there was a series of underground tunnels that these things lived in, they would tell the others not to fuck with us, because they keep always getting defeated. Like... Oh, wow, yes, another shield. And just like the first one, it's just out of reach. Oh, here we go. Oh, please tell me I can climb this. Okay, maybe there's a pathway onto this rock wall that I have to get on just because I can't take a step upwards onto a tangled vine. I mean, it kind of looks like there's a pathway on that rock. Fucking camera. Ugh, alright. Well, shit, I don't think there's any way up there, then. Nope, definitely not. Uh boy. Uh Oh, you know, it might have helped if I had explored a little more around the place where the shield actually was. Or is. It's still there. I haven't gotten it. I mean, look at the setup here. Clearly I'm intended to climb this vine, right? When am I going to learn that Accio doesn't work on the large shields? But because they work on the mini shields, I keep trying even though I know it's useless. None of the spells I know seem to do anything when I'm facing the massive vine. Okay, this is just more out of frustration at this point than anything else. I don't think there's anything left for me to try. Yeah, I don't know what else to do, other than leave and come back later when I've thought of something else, or learned something else. God, this is irritating. I'm wondering now, though, because the shield seems to be accessible through a vine, do I have to learn something else in Herbology class to reach that shield? Why? All I have to do is climb it, right? I can climb onto those massive Wingardium Leviosa blocks, but not this? The vine should be easier, if anything, because you can probably walk up it more than you would have to climb up it. Why do I have to learn basic shit like swimming and climbing in a herbology class? I understand having the class before the second task, but I don't need to dive underwater and hold my breath for an hour to reach the shields and the Hogwarts exterior and the prefect's bathroom. I just swim over to it or something. It makes no sense. To move on. Don't start with me, Ron. Yeah, you can get on that fallen tree, but not a vine. Go fuck yourself, Weasley. Well, the camera really pulled back far that time. I don't know why. Is there more fire that I didn't put out? Oh, you know what? I bet that fire is just background noise and light from where you run through here during the initial Forbidden Forest challenge where the escaped dragon is flying after you and pelting you with fireballs. They forgot to disable that for subsequent visits to the forest, I think. 
not a big deal, but kind of an interesting little... Yeah, let's try go going through here next, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't move the target further to the right, or Ron's left, because I'm not positioned properly behind the Bubo tuber. But look, there's a rock here where I probably would be more properly positioned to aim in a straight line, but I bet it's not going to let me pull it back far enough to either detach it from the ground or get airborne with enough distance to reach the mushroom patch. So what do I do? I mean, obviously that won't work, but that's the extent to how precisely I can adjust my aim regarding this particular boob. Fuck! Where does this lead to anyways? Did I even run... Oh, I just had to walk around it. Here's another boobo tuber more properly positioned for that first mushroom patch, but... Well, no, it's not, actually. I can't get behind it with this other group of mushrooms nearby. So the game must have assumed that I would be coming up the path and not down it. I guess? I don't know. What an incredible overshot, by the way. But you know what? Now that I missed it by that much, I'm wondering if I can even remove these mushrooms with this particular boobo tuber. Because what happens when you don't pull hard enough? It doesn't launch itself off the ground, right? So I doubt I could hit anything directly next to it because there's an, an immediate area surrounding it that I can't hit because the force it takes to detach it from the ground necessarily will throw it a minimum distance. Oh, I nearly had the target over a good area though. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Okay, you see, that's what I'm talking about. But why display the target at all if I'm not pulling with enough force to throw it any distance? And I thought I was maybe getting the hang of this too. Seriously, this is horseshit. Fuck. Alright, just a moderate amount of force this time. Oh, come on, back. Back. Come on, this time. Eh, that was close. I'm not sure I actually hit anything, though. Ow. Apparently not. Well, let's try again. What the fuck? What the fuck? Who did that? Was that you, Hermione? We're trying to launch this thing intact, not tear it apart. Again. Damn it! Hey, come on. Fuck. Oh, oh, shit. I did it. I think? I hope? Aw, oh, yeah. Fuck off, Ron. Yeah, this one was more properly positioned, too, so I guess I was expected to come up this pathway in the opposite direction. And just like that, I hit a cluster of mushrooms with these. That thing just popped up out of nowhere after I walked past it. That's like negative draw distance or something. Fucking impressive. Okay, how did that not work? What the hell is wrong now? Oh, are you serious? The hill is blocking me from moving back any further? Fucking hell. Oh my god. Bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit! I look like an idiot, but the control feels like I'm sliding around on ice whenever I hang on to these things. As if Ron can't get any friction between his feet and the ground. Oh, this is where we started from. Oh, okay, I can see why the developers expected me to walk that path in the opposite direction now. I guess I can't be too upset. Frustrated, but not upset at them. And there's still no vine here extending to this shield, so I'm still at a loss for how to grab that one. Yeah, those mushrooms still glow blue. I wonder if there are any organisms in the fungi kingdom that have bioluminescent properties. Okay, did I walk down yet? I don't know, this feels vaguely familiar, but at the same time I might be confusing this part of the forest with another area. Well, this kind of ambush is certainly something I'm more familiar with. At least they waited until I was practically on top of them before jumping out at me. I still haven't lost any hit points. The tree is in the way. Seriously, what the fuck? Stupid in-game camera. 
Did one of us just ram it back into the ground like a screwdriver? That must have hurt its beak, or whatever. Oh yeah, I have been through here before. I commented earlier about how I remembered a cutscene with the dragon from the last time we were in the forest. Well, I thought this part of the path through here seemed familiar from earlier in this episode, too, but surely I wouldn't have missed a mini-shield there, right? No, I'm definitely sure we messed around here once already. I think sometimes mini-shields just pop up in some areas after you've done something. <laughs> uh. Bullseye. Although, even though the target was right on that area, it felt like it landed a bit short, but, well, obviously not. Yeah, now shit's just getting repeated. But I'll tell you what, this raw video footage I recorded is over 42 minutes long, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. I really don't want to do episodes longer than half an hour if I can help it, but yeah, 20 minutes seems like a good length to me. Damn, I really got a bullseye that time. How did I still step in some goo regardless? Yeah, I know, I dealt with the blast into the screw earlier, but I'll do it again in the beginning of the next episode.